Hi boys and girls, Max and I are here, you know it, for another great day of learning. We're so excited to be back together again today. We have had such an awesome week of learning together. Give ourselves some claps. Max says that he wants to do it again today. So Max, come make the schedule. The first thing we're going to do today is calendar time. When calendar time is finished, it's time for center time. And then, oh, let me give you a little bit of information. At center time, we're going to use something that is wet. Hmm, what could that mean? Something that is wet. Hmm. That's exciting. Then it's going to be time to say goodbye. Let's do it, okay? Let's do it. Max, go do your body check, and then I'll do mine too. There you go. Put those listening ears in. Mm -hmm. Put those looking eyes in. Mm -hmm. Put that brain in. Mm -hmm. We are ready to learn, learn, learn. So let's start off with our calendar time, and you tell me what I need to do. Turn on the smart board. Let me get it. <gasps> Ooh. Hey, something looks differently to me. It doesn't look the same. You're right. We need to go back to the beginning of calendar time. Let's do it. Ooh. Wow. I don't know what that means. Whoa. Oh, I know what it's trying to do. I'm going to go to the computer and I'm going to try to fix it real fast. Watch me. There we go. There we go. So, let's talk about who's at school today. I know that Miss Green, she's at her other school this morning. We'll see her later today. And then Miss Terry, she is in the hallway helping friends. And Miss Beckham, where's Miss Beckham? You're right. She is at school in her room. I said her room. She's a girl, so I say the word her. Okay. Um, where is he? Oh, Zane is a boy, so I say the word he. That can be a little hard figuring out which word to use at times. Do you say her? Do you say him? Do you say she? Do you say he? It just takes lots of practice. Okay, I want to talk to this friend. Um, Zane, where are you? You are at school. You're right. Hey, will you talk to me, please? Thank you for talking to me. I am at school with all my friends today. Woohoo! Give ourselves some claps. Yay! Oh, whoa, that is so interesting. Our smart board is doing just some interesting things today. I'm going to go to the computer and I'm going to fix it again. Okay, let me try to fix it. We know that the month is August. The month is August. And in August, we've been learning about cars. Uh-huh. Where do the cars go? On the road. You're right. Now, I think we need to add another picture to our month because we were learning about something yesterday. Okay. See if you can figure out what I am writing. Oh no, smart board. I'm going to go back to the computer again and fix it. Okay. Hmm. Okay. See if you can 
figure out this picture. Hmm. It looks like a big rectangle. Okay, is it finished? Oh, it needs some more parts? Okay, I'm gonna color in the rectangle. Okay, it now needs a part to go in the front. Okay, so here we go. Hmm, is this picture finished? No, 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 you're right. It needs more parts, so let's figure out. What we can do let's put all of the parts together and tell me to go, go. Vroom, 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 vroom. oh no what do i need to do stop come back miss mcway and come back let me ask you a question would this truck go in the sky or would it go on the road Oh, it's going to go on the road. You're right. When I'm driving down the road, I can see lots of really large trucks. Whoo! Give yourself some claps for adding a new picture to our calendar. Okay, so we know that the month is August. Yesterday was Thursday. Thursday is finished. Today is Friday. We've had one, two, three, four, five great days of learning today. Woohoo! This week. Let's add another day. We have 28 days now in August. Ooh, we're almost to the end of the month. Woo! We've had a lot of great things happening in August. Oh, oh no, it happened again. Let me go back to the computer. Oh, computer, we need our help today. Okay, we know that the season is summer and we're excited that we got a little bit of rain. That was awesome. Oh, wow. Our computer is so tired today. Okay, let's check that schedule. Let's check that schedule. I'm glad to be back where I can see you. Uh, Max, come on up. Calendar time is finished. It is now time for center time. So, guys, let's talk one more time about the pictures that we've been learning about. The words that we've been learning about. We've been learning about a car, uh-huh. And we know where a car goes on the road. Then we learned about something much larger, much bigger than a car. We learned about a truck. And the truck also goes on the road. Uh -huh. Hey, look at this. This is the inside of a truck. Whoa. This is the steering wheel, mm -hmm. and that's what the driver uses to move the truck around. And look, he has lots of knobs and switches. Yeah, that's cool to be inside a truck. Wow. Let me ask you a question. Would kids drive a truck? 
No, it's for adults, for grown-ups to drive a truck. Well, you know what? If you have a car or a truck, then you know what? Sometimes it gets dirty. Hmm. If it gets dirty, what would you need to do to your car or your truck? That's an idea. That is an idea. You would need to wash your car or your truck. So today, we are going to take care of our cars and trucks. I know that you have a really super cool red car. Huh, that's pretty cool. You might want to take special care of it today if mom and dad say you can, okay? So if we're going to wash our truck I mean, in our cars, what do we need? We need some water. You're right. We need some water. Oh, that's what I said we were going to use. Something that is wet. And we know water is wet. Okay, so I've got my bucket, a little container box of water. And I have some cars ooh, that I need to keep, I need to wash. So where do I put the cars? In the water. Okay. Miss McWain got to take her car to the car wash uh, a week ago. And you know what? I made a video of it. I need to put that on our canvas and you can see what it looks like when you go in a car wash. That'll be fun. Oh, look, now I got a paper towel. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to wash my cars. Oh, can you see it? Oh, yeah, wash my cars. I need to wash the wheels. Uh-huh. Got to wash the wheels. I'm going to wash the top of the car, the front of the car, the back of the car. I'm going to wash it all over. Oh, let me get the blue car. Okay. What do I need to do? I need to wash it. I'm going to wash, hmm, I'm going to wash the wheels. Oh, one, two, three, four. I'm going to wash the front of the car. I'm going to wash the back of the car. I'm going to wash the top of the car. I'm going to wash under the car. Ooh, you know what? Today, we get to use our location words to tell where we are washing the car. So today at your house, ask mom and dad if you can have some water in a bowl or a pan or a container, and then you can wash your cars. Hey, maybe even mom and dad might let you wash their car. Ooh, that would be exciting. That would be exciting. So have fun today using your location words to wash a car. I can't wait to see how nice and clean your cars are gonna look, okay? So Max, come on over and we're gonna check our schedule. Oh Max, put your mask back on. We are staying healthy. Um, at center time today, we talked about the words that we learned and we are washing our cars. Center time is finished. It's time to say goodbye. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and I'll see you back on Monday. Bye, friends. <laughs>